Welcome to Visual Cooking. Visual Cooking. Welcome to Visual Cooking. It's the show where we cook things from a photo. We don't have the ingredients or the instructions, but we're going to do it anyway. My name is Katie May. Let's see what we're going to cook today. There's nothing in this box. Jokes and I haven't had them in forever. Excited! It looks like we got some tomatoes, onions, ground meat. I'm gonna probably just use turkey. Roll pickles. Weird potato salad, but I don't want to do the potato salad. I'm gonna just get a bag of chips for the side. And there's beer! It looks like regular Sloppy Joe's. Looks like there's something else in there, but I'm not sure what. I'm just gonna go to the store and see what comes to me. <laughs> We're back from the store. We got stuff. I still don't know the special twist to them. I got some turkey, an onion, a pepper, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, pickles, rolls that were a dollar off. Start by cutting an onion and this pepper and we're going to saute it and then we're gonna add the meat, the tomato stuff. That's really it, that's all I got. What is the secret ingredient? Is it barbecue sauce? Is this secret ingredient beer? Is it freaking taco sauce? Is it bacon? I keep thinking there's like stuff on my shirt, but it's just the hula girls. I'm gonna bring the rest of this green pepper to my guinea pigs. I'm going to clean this mess up. Saute, saute. Cook these with some garlic and oil. <laughs> Chomped up the onions and the pepper. Cooked it in oil. Salt, pepper, cayenne, the turkey, browned the turkey, tomato paste, fire roasted diced tomatoes, which I did not know that I bought those kinds. Then I was like, mm, you know, whatever. So I added half a can of beer and then I let it sit for like 20 minutes or so. I let it simmer and get those flavors to know each other. It takes 20 minutes for flavors to get to know each other. If you use canned tomatoes like I do, you should use a little bit of sugar because of the acid from the can and the tomato. So it'll just help balance everything out. Now I'm gonna plate it. Here's a fun fact. I've actually never made Sloppy Joes before. Uh, so I really just guessed with this recipe completely. I asked if I could just buy Sloppy Joe mix, but apparently that's cheating. So there we go. Ste steaming hot. Maybe a little bit more. Doop. I'll put some pickles on the side. Do you usually put pickles on it? I never even heard of putting pickles on it. <coughs> I wonder if you were supposed to use bread and butter pickles, but I fucking hate and butter pickles are the worst. It smells really good though. Oh, so hot. I don't want to wait. It's really good. The buns are, is, uh, the bun, delicious. The meat, delicious. So hot. All right, let's see how close I was. It's called Super Sloppy Joe's. Oh, it's my Rachel Ray! I love Rachel Ray. She was a big reason why I really got into cooking besides my Papa Denny. Let's see, one tablespoon of olive oil. We ran out of olive oil. Ground beef sirloin. 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 We used turkey. Quarter cup of brown sugar. Didn't even think to use that. Fake seasoning blend. Didn't even think to use that either. Onion. Done. Red bell pepper. I, I used green. Red wine vinegar. I used that. Worcestershire sauce. Tomato sauce, tomato paste, and rolls. I said it was kind of close. I just didn't use like brown sugar. I used regular sugar. I used beer. The sloppy joe is good. I mean, 
Sloppy Joes or Sloppy Joes, I don't think that one is better than the other. I think it ranks pretty high. I mean, we've only made six things on this show, but I think that the tacos are still number one in my book. My name is Kay May, and this was Visual Cooking. Follow us on all the fun stuff. All the links are in the description below. Subscribe to Screenplay. Uh, join us next time for when we cook something else. I don't know what it is. Boop, 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 boop.